Hey everyone, welcome back to the Smith Farm Co-op. I'm Michael. Today we're diving into a topic that has become extremely close to my heart, and I believe to many of yours as well. Have you ever wondered why some churches seem to lack enthusiasm and passion within their worship? Why is it that some places, and, and in some places, faith feels so vibrant and live? while others it seems more passive and subdued. In this video, we'll explore the differences between church, churches in developing countries and those in poorer and more vibrant communities. We'll discuss how material wealth and, and comfort could impact our spiritual enthusiasm and, and reliance on God. Most importantly, we'll look at what the Bible says about maintaining a passionate, active relationship with the Lord. We'll also share practical steps with both individuals and churches to take and rekindle that passion and enthusiasm for God. Whether you're a church leader or a regular attendee or someone seeking a deeper connection with God, this video is for you. Before we dive in, if you're, a new, if you're new here or you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps reach more people with, it, with this message. And, and you'll be notified whenever a new post comes up. Nicole and I appreciate that simple gesture. Now, will you join me as we uncover how to bring that excitement that back into faith and worship? Let's get started. Why is enthusiasm and passion fled from churches within the world? Let me be clear right from the start. I'm not saying every church has a lack of enthusiasm within their uh, relationship with the Lord. But when we're reflecting on the American churches or even first, other first world uh, countries' churches, we appear to have a passive interaction with God. When we compare to churches with a vibrant youth or, or, or poorer countries, we see that they have a truly unapologetic relationship with God that they, they actively embrace relationship with our Lord and Savior. Their hearts are, are on fire for the Lord, and their spirit can be felt as you enter the room. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spirit fervor serving the Lord. Romans 12, 11. This verse in Romans inspires followers of Jesus to be enthusiastic in their relationship with God, which implores us to be passionate worshipers. I have heard and been eyewitness to this, this passion that people and communities have towards God. They may not have much in physical means or material possessions, but what they have is more precious than gold. Psalms 19.10. It's a deep connection with God. Oh, how I would love to see God's people so energetic that you could feel the Lord in the room and dwell in his, within his people. This type of passion and energy for the Lord I pray about is a type that can be seen in youth events here in the United States. They are carefree. They are unashamed when active in the, engaging in the Lord. They ask deep questions and they worship without concern of wondering what people are thinking of them. They care only about the joy of that relationship with God and discovering His truth every moment. We see this uh, presented in Psalms 47.1. Clap your hands, all, your na all you nations, Shout to God, cries of joy. Do you think our youth and people with this deep connection with the Lord are more reliant on the Lord 
Yes! Those that are truly reliant and dependent on God for their basic needs with everyday life have a palpable expression of faith. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. People might be young or even poor, but their relationship with the Lord is next level. They are richer than anyone with tons of money or independent of God. They lack, the lack of dependence has, become, has led to a passive relationship. The Lord does not want a passive relationship with humanity. From the beginning of time, God made man to have an active relationship with us. Can you reflect on your relationship with the creator of the universe and think of ways that you can cultivate a more active and passionate relationship with God in your daily life? If you conclude that you have become passive in that relationship, I encourage you to fight for your relationship with God, just as he has done for you. Let us examine our ways and test them. And let us return to the Lord. Lamentations 340. Some simple and effective ways to take that next step of engagement on an individual level would be daily devotions and prayer. Join a small group or Bible study. Serve others within your community. Worship. And share your faith. To churches. I encourage you to foster an environment that encourages enthusiasm and wholehearted worship. Some simple and effective ways that churches can engage the community would be establishing that welcome in environment and atmosphere without judgment. Encourage fo followers to enthusiastically worship, develop and support the youth within the community. Establish small groups and practice a dependence on God. Thank you for watching till the end. If you have any questions or prayer concerns, please leave them below and have a blessed day. Those that are truly reliant. That's a bug. <laughs> Let's try that again. Do you think though, that got me off guard.